Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Today we are doing a demonstration on the true full flight speed of the E-Vision J100. That is 45 feet per second, 30 miles per hour, or 13.8 meters per second. Now to do this, you have to hook up to RTK so the drone has a really good position. And we're using the E-Vision Superlink. That is an RTK and relay, meaning we are sending our communication from the remote to the, to the Superlink the drone we're pulling in rtk at the same time so what we're going to do here today is do a full takeoff to takeoff time using the j100 with a full tank on a half mile long square field flying at 45 feet per second alex our pilot are you ready i'm ready all right i got my timer here take off when you're ready Okay, here we go. Start. All right, we've got takeoff now. So this is all autonomous flight. Alex is not gonna touch the sticks or the screen until the drone makes it back to us fully autonomously as well. So it goes, it flies out to the start point at 45 feet per second. And watch this, watch this the acceleration here. Tell us when we're there, Alex. We're there. Right there. So that was zero to full speed in what, three seconds, for about three seconds. The J100 has really, really high thrust to weight ratio with a full tank. 45 liters is the standard tank on the J100. That's uh, about 12 gallons. That's the standard tank. Now you can get a bigger tank for it, up to 60 liters. 45 is standard tank. With a completely full tank, you have over a two to one thrust to weight ratio meaning we have really good acceleration like what you just saw there. We have 45 feet per second flight speed. Uh, we have full obstacle avoidance at 32 feet per second and full terrain following at 32 feet per second. And we also have a drone that handles manually just as good with a full tank as it does with an empty tank. I've never seen that before in my life. So what we're gonna to try to prove today is, or see just for ourselves, could you get 60 acres per hour with a 45 liter drone or a 12 gallon drone? Uh, that's a lot of Phillips, but what matters on efficiency with drones isn't necessarily tank volume. Tank volume is only part of it. Obviously the more acres you can get done per tank, then the more acres you might be able to cover, but flight speed and swath are also part of it. Now today, our swath is terrible because it's cold and it's windy <laughs> out here in the river bottoms. Probably would not be spraying on a day like today, but our swath is gonna be anywhere from about 30 to 36 feet on a J100, depending on how fast you're flying, the wind speed, your droplet size, all that kind of stuff. So the wider the swath and the faster the drone can fly, the faster it can get back to you, the faster you can fill it up and get it back up in the air. That's much more important than just tank volume alone. Because on a field like this, if we were actually operating, you know, truly, we'd probably just send it down, back, bring it back, land it, and refill it. Uh, because it doesn't really matter that much if you can go down, back twice, or down, back once, and refill. If your refill times are sub-minute, that doesn't add that much to the overall operation time. Especially if you've got a really quick and easy drone to do battery swaps and refill on, with, like the J100. All right, so the drone is going to make it down to the end of the field and then slide over. There you can see the empty tank icon right there. So it's going to go down, back, down again, and then partially back before it runs out. So it's actually not going to be as efficient as it could be. You know, true efficiency is if you can match your, your tank volume and your swath width to your field length to where it goes down back and it's empty or down back twice and it's empty or here we have a down back down and about a third way back and then we're empty um, and the drone's going to be there here pretty quick yeah so basically we're trying to just simu simulate uh the slowest this drone will go um in this flight speed and stuff like that you basically let the drone run completely out let it come home let it do its thing yeah. So there we go. It just ran out. It's going to return home. We'll go ahead and refill it and take it back off again. Yeah. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our, our hose and our battery ready. The drone's gonna come back home autonomously. We can watch this all on screen here. We're using the Roadrunner to fill our drone and charge our batteries. This pump is about a 20 gallon per minute, so we should be able to fill up in about 30 seconds or so. If we had a faster pump, we could probably do this even better. We're gonna let Alex do this by himself so we can simulate it what one pilot uh, would actually be doing in the field by themselves as well. So we're gonna start filling the tank first because the tank actually takes longer to fill than the battery does to swap and boot. And as you can see on the remote here, we actually see live tank volume even with that battery out of the drone. That's because the EA Vision J100 has an onboard battery that keeps everything booted up except for the motors and the ESCs. That means not only do we have live tank volume without a battery installed, but we also have really quick boot up time. As soon as Alex gets out of the way, we're gonna be able to take off again and get back to work with this drone. You can see it's already ready to go. Okay, and once he clears, we're gonna go ahead and hit takeoff, confirm. It's gonna check everything here. Swipe right, and we're good. Now, as soon as it lifts off, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and land it and check our takeoff to takeoff time. Just because I'm curious. I don't want to look at the video, but I'm just curious to see what that takeoff to takeoff time is. All right, so that was about 20 seconds ago. We are about six minutes. So that was about five and a half minutes and we covered, how many acres did we cover? 6.02 acres. There you go. Six acres in about five minutes and 40 seconds. So that's about over an a, acre a minute. That's over an acre a minute. Yep. That is true takeoff to takeoff time. This is an actual field that we'll be spraying. There you go, 60 acres an hour. Anything else you got, Alex? I don't think so. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's really cool. All right. If you guys want to see more of the J100 in action, or we're we'll be posting more videos, always feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks.